Albert Johnson uh, in Georgetown, Idaho. And uh, we're in Bear Lake County. We're just uh, about 25 miles from Utah, 25 miles from Wyoming. Uh, at about 6,000 foot elevation. And we have a lot of winter here. You know, we're usually two to three weeks behind everybody else for getting in the fields. And now we're talking like over the hills of Preston. We're, we're a long time getting dried up and ready to farm, so. Well, I have three great grandfathers that came across the plains with the, with the pioneers, uh, but my great great grandfather um, came, came through and, and settled. Uh, he actually went through from Tennessee, he went through on his way to California in the gold rush, and then they just, the Civil War broke out, and he decided him and his buddies they should come back and fight with their compadres in the south in Tennessee and they made it as far as Salt Lake and he ended up coming up here and marrying my grandmother in Salt Lake and coming up here to Georgetown and he homesteaded a place that's uh, down by the river. It's uh, His last name was Smith and it's actually named after him. Smith Road is where uh, part of my farm is and uh, that's been in the family for that many generations and so and my other uh, grandfather on the other side settled up in the mouth of the canyon. He was also one of the pioneers, so they've, I've got deep roots in Georgetown, and so. I grew up with ag and music. My grandfather, uh, my great-grandmother on my, my dad's side, homesteaded a great big parcel of land to the north of Georgetown where the Elk Refuge and all of that, uh, the whole Georgetown summit clear across the river to the west was, was homesteaded by my great-grandfather, or my great-grandmother, and my grandfather and his brothers lived up there, and they lived on a ranch down on the river, and my grandpa would walk with his trumpet case all the way along the river into Georgetown to play for dances, and he had a band, and he also taught music at the high school, but he also run a farm, so I, my dad was the same way. My dad played in big bands, he played trumpet and string bass, and and then we farmed and uh, so that it's been in my you know family a long time and so i grew up doing the same thing um, we milk the cows and then we load up the instruments and we'd head out and play a gig and and then it just as my brother and sister laughed then i just hooked up with other musicians and we just started entertaining and that's just been it's just what i do on weekends i play music during the week, I farm. <laughs> I actually started in the actual professional entertaining as the drummer in my dad's jazz ensemble. And so that's when I first started traveling, other than with my brother and sister, I started traveling serious, get, getting paid as their drummer. And he had some professional musicians that were college professors, you know, level musicians that really had a, a nice band and that was that was where I cut my teeth. I remember the old boy, he was, a, he was a piano player. He was a real stickler. He was quite a music master and he'd really school me on where the center of the beat was, you know. <laughs> and so was a young drummer. And so when I went from there, media, I went into college studying music and, and I, uh, I was a drummer in an off-campus uh, jazz ensemble. That was, I made a lot of my money at the time was playing music and then farming kind of got in the way and I, I just decided I wasn't going to be a music teacher which is most music pro programs at that time were oriented around the teachers. I didn't want to live in a world of kids music. I wanted to perform and so that's what I did. <laughs> um, as I, I majored in trumpet. Let's see, I don't know if I, I'm not, I, But then I obviously played the drums. And then I also 
also play guitar, lead guitar, and uh, bass guitar. Uh, most of my playing time, probably the, most of the years I entertained in clubs and, and concerts and things, it was, it was as a lead guitar player. That was my main thing. <laughs> Recently, I've kind of gotten more towards the classical, back into the classical trumpet uh, end of things. Uh, but uh, I also played keyboard. I play piano. I'm, you know, I play. I'm the organist, organist in the local church congregation, and so I do a little of everything. You know, so. You know, in the old days, before the media was so accessible, music was the entertainment. They would have sometimes plays, but they would have dances all the time, several times a week. I remember my grandpa talking about, you know, loading up in a team and wagon in a sleigh and driving to Montpelier to play for a dance, you know. Um, and so that was a big deal. And when I was a kid, there was still, you know, it was unheard of to have recorded music at a, at a dance. Duh. You know, that was never even considered. And so there was a lot of dances. There was church dances. There were high school dances, you know. And um, we played a, a lot of them. And we played all over. We played from clear down into Utah, over into Cameron, Wyoming, in Jackson Hole, Pocatello. Um, you know, over in Burley, we played, we played a lot of different areas um, with, you know, whatever they needed. We would usually country and classic rock and, and some jazz, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> 